So back once again into Mobile UK, uh, checking out the software for the Nokia X6. Uh, very uh, reasonable device overall, not amazing, uh, not terrible. But uh, this is the well, touch-based S60 uh, variant for the screen. Uh, and you can see here, so you've got uh, your standard uh, menu options available. Um, we could, let's say, take a look at messages, for example. A uh, bit of screen rotate for you there, so you can see the performance. Obviously not astounding. Um, but if I was to write, I don't know, into mobile is great, oh, I could spell it correctly, uh, which is pretty shambolic typing, um, then you can see that uh, buttons are very responsive, uh, bizarrely fill up most of the screen as opposed to uh, a smaller area of it like on some other devices, um, but uh, not a major problem I and mean, guess once you're used to button bashing on this particular screen uh, you'll have no problems at all hitting the keys uh, fairly accurately. Um, Let's take a look at another app so we can get a bit of a better feel for what else is going on. So let's check out Gallery. Um, and I guess uh, it's fair to say this device um, does a competent job of a lot of things. Um, perhaps though it isn't amazing um, at any one of them. So I've not managed to get past the fact that um, having scrolled on something, you've got the kinetic scrolling like on other devices, uh, but having uh, got to a particular when you want to select let's say, an image, you select it with a tap and tap again, uh, which is I first personally found a bit, little bit non-intuitive compared to, like I said, the more recent crop of smartphones, uh, Legend and iPhone uh, particularly uh, in that group. Um, so you've got options here that you can uh, you can play with as well. Um, multiple uh, other apps to play with. I mean, a lot of these don't look too different um, than the standard uh, S60 apps. Some of them deviate a little because they are, have been optimised for the touch screen and uh, Nokia have gone for the uh, big old buttons approach which does make it easier to hit. I uh, do like the capacitance screen in combination with the UI, it works very nicely um, but as I said overall feeling uh, perhaps just a little bit tired now. Um, it's okay, another standard app, I mean it gives you a feel. A lot, a lot of these uh, being preloaded, being being stand up so much of a muchness um, but as soon as you start to kind of drill into the menus here so let's take a phone for example come on and there we go um, you get a good reaction from the screen but you're back into these uh, really heavy text based menus which um, are, are getting back towards standard S60 I think this one particularly um, from my knowledge of having had previous devices like the N95 is pretty much exactly the same other than slightly greater spacing to make sure you can hit the buttons properly. Um, but nonetheless, uh, not not disappointing, just uh, not a wowzer compared to uh, some of the more uh, capable devices of late. Um, there's also a fairly uh, um, yeah, unimpressive home screen I guess. Um, you know, I, I, I've been left a little bit kind of um, discombobulated, I guess, by this device overall because um, it's not a bad device, but it's just got so much uh, strong competition now. So if you take a look, for example, um, Apple iPhone, uh, which we which, which we all know and love uh, fairly well, and uh, a couple of the more recent contenders. Uh, let's just oh, reach over here and. Uh, pull out another device which we've got. Um, so this one is the, oh, excuse the background noise, so this is the legend um, and it is a bit of a legend I have to say uh, but you can see there comparison wise um, the devices are not uh, too dissimilar in terms of depth but in terms of um, overall experience as you'll see from the other videos on uh, into mobile, the legend really is uh, quite an incredibly impressive uh, device uh, from a UI perspective. This one's perhaps a touch stayed, and I do feel like to some extent I'm, I'm kind of repeating the same point, but um, there is there really is no other way to frame it. So, um, you know, in summary, I think the this is a competent device for those S60 users that, that are diehards uh, that want a touch screen, um, this will be a good device for those that are keen on a music subscription. This is an appropriate device, this is, it comes with music uh, variant of the X6, uh, so you've got access to every store. Um, other than that, not too much more to say, I'm hoping to get some more time with the device uh, going forward. Uh, but for right now, uh, Nokia X6 16 gig um, software, okay, device, okay. And um, 
let's see what not what else Nokia come up with in the uh, in the coming months.